feel like I look very pink. I do look really pink. Why do I look so pink? I don't know. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am doing my Christmas bookish haul. I usually get quite a few books for Christmas because I am a diehard book nerd and my family knows that. My sister never gives me books for Christmas because she thinks I don't need any more, but I can convince everybody else in my family to keep getting me books for Christmas, so it usually works out pretty well for me. I don't know how long of a video this is going to be because most of these books I don't know, I didn't ask for. They look like it's something I'll enjoy, so I'm excited about them, but I don't have any, you know, prior knowledge about them, so that's, that's where we are with them. So we'll see. I'm gonna try and do more than say, I don't know what this is about, but it looks interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna work for that. Now, on Christmas Eve, we always open up one gift. Usually it's either pajamas or a book or some kind of crafty thing. And lately in the past year, it's been mostly books, which I discovered this past year is actually like a thing in Iceland and they call it Jola Book of Flood. I know I'm butchering that. I apologize to anyone who's from Iceland. Please try and help me with the correct pronunciation. But basically, apparently it translates to the Christmas book flood. And basically, apparently every Christmas Eve they gift books and chocolate and then they spend the rest of the evening just sitting around and reading. And apparently my family has been celebrating Jola Joel Book Jola Book of Flood for a long time. So that was cool to find out. With that said, I got two books on Christmas Eve. I got the same two books that my cousin and my sister got on Christmas Eve. The first one I'm going to show you is this gorgeous edition of Pride and Prejudice. Do I need another edition of Pride and Prejudice? No. Although I technically only own one. Am I going to start a collection from this? Yes. <laughs> this one is so pretty. I believe this is a Barnes & Noble edition. I'm like 98.2% positive this is a Barnes & Noble edition. I have a Jane Austen cover puzzle and I'm considering trying to collect every cover on that Jane Austen cover puzzle. But one of them I know for a fact is like a thousand dollars. I'll insert a picture of that one. It's maybe not a thousand. I might be exaggerating. It was a lot of money when I last looked it up so don't know if that'll ever happen but it'd be super cool. The second book I got is one I had never heard of but it sounds very interesting and it it's called A Portrait of Emily Price by Catherine Rie. Ray? It's a retelling of something. And there's another book by this author that I got on Christmas that I'll show you. That is also a retelling of something. Emily Price is a fix-it girl extraordinaire and a would-be artist. She dreams of having her own gallery. There's no time for distractions, especially not for falling in love. But then Chef Bonito Vassallo is relentlessly pursuing her. Emily accepts his proposal and follows him to Italy, but then she interferes with everyone and everything around her. Oh, I think this is an Emma retelling. I think that's what it is. She interferes with everyone around her, alienating Ben from his tight-knit family. Only Ben's father gives Emily the understanding she needs to lay down her guard. Soon her life starts to blossom, but dun dun dun, yet when she unearths long buried family secrets, she wonders if she really fits into Ben's world. So that's, that's the summary of this. I'm pretty sure this is an Emma retelling. That sounds right. But my mom and my aunt both say these are fantastic books and it's a cute little cover. I mean, look at that. Now I have the books that I got on Christmas day. Do I remember who gave me which books? No. I think every book I got this year was from my... No, 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 that one's from my cousin. I think most books I got this year were from my mom. And then I have one from my cousin, which I will show you first. A Woman with a Gun by Philip Margolin. Margolin. And apparently this book is about an off aspiring author who sees a picture, which is this picture, and she becomes obsessed with trying to figure out the, I guess not meaning behind the picture, but like the source of the picture, like who is the woman, why does she have a gun, why is she in a wedding dress? Apparently that's a wedding dress. I'm gonna be perfectly honest here, I'm not a huge fan of this cover. I like the red with the font. I think it's very, you know, thriller-esque, very well done in that department, but I just, I don't like that picture. I don't know why. It just, it looks very cheap and cliche. But the book sounds interesting, and I'm not normally a thriller person, so I'm a little hesitant, but this one sounds pretty good, so I'm also a little excited. Did I finish describing it? I'm not sure if I did. Basically, she wants to find answers and it turns out that this girl is a suspect in a murder and the author becomes certain that her innocence or guilt is connected to the picture and so she just starts trying to figure that out. And so it sounds really interesting. I like the cover, no, but it's the book sounds pretty good, so I'm excited to read it. Next, my mom and my aunt, it's me and my cousin, both D.E. Stevenson books every year. Last year, my cousin didn't read hers. A little bit bitter about that. I read mine. Last year, it was Gerald and Elizabeth. I barely read it. I read it in November. December? November. But I did finish it. And I know I say one book, we can only manage one book a year, guys. It's, it's a bit sad. But anyway, this year's book is Miss Bunkle's Book 
by D.E. Stevenson. Apparently, Barbara Bunkle is in a bind. She's a writer, but she's having some bad days. Not having any other ideas, she draws inspiration from the fellow residents of Silverstream, a little English village that she knows inside and out. And apparently the novel is a smash, and it's a good thing she wrote under a pseudonym, because the folks of Silverstream are in an uproar. Ooh, this sounds fun. And then what happens to the characters when a book start happening to their real life counterparts? Oh, this sounds entertaining. Fun fact about D.E. Stevenson, if you're ever in the mood for just like a classically toned, just enjoyable and fun book, highly recommend her. Some of her books have some things that could be considered weird, like really, really big age gaps in couples or second cousins marrying each other, but they're good fun reads, good chill classic reads, and they have like that classic tone to them if you're into that. Highly recommend. So I'm excited to get to this one. I haven't read a book of hers that I just didn't like. Celia's House is my least favorite of the ones I've read, and that's only three that I've read, but I haven't read one where it's like, this book sucks, so. so. There's a podcast I listen to, it's called What Should I Read Next? Anne Bogle from the book blog Modern Mrs. Darcy Does It, and people come on to her show, tell her three books they love and one book they hate, and she gives them book recommendations based off of that. And she actually, this is the book she published two, I guess, years ago, her first book she published, and my mom got it for me, and it's called Reading People. How seeing the world through the lens of personality changes everything. I know she does the Myers-Briggs personality in here. I don't know if she also does Enneagrams, but basically a book about all the different personality types. That's all I know about it, but it sounds interesting. I am an INTP. I am a nerd about that kind of thing, so I'm excited for this. Plus, it's just a really cute cover. Next, we have the counterpart to the other Catherine Ray book that I held up, and actually this one has a different, different feeling. That, I just noticed that and that bugs me. This one has more of like a matte feeling to it, and this one's very glossy, and it squeaks. Did you hear that? It squeaks. Cover feeling aside, Dear Mr. Knightley by Catherine Rie. The camera ran out of storage, and I don't know what I was talking about, so we'll just, we'll just try and get back on track. I remember holding this book. It is actually a retelling of Daddy Longlegs by Jean Webster, which I don't know if you've read that book, but it's about this girl who is in this orphanage and a mysterious benefactor says he'll send her to school if she writes him letters and she ends up calling him Daddy Longlegs. Fantastic book. Very witty with that classic tone. Highly love it. And so this is a retelling of that. I love that book so mom got me this one because she knows I liked it so much. So excited. I, I hope I got this back on track. And the last book is going into my Nancy Drew collection. If you didn't know, I am attempting to collect all of the Nancy Drew books. And so I was given Girl Sleuth, Nancy Drew, and the Women Who Created Her. And basically this is about Nancy Drew's creation. I am so excited to read this. Don't know if I'll get to it that soon though, but I'm excited to at least have it. It sounds so good. Can we also take a moment to appreciate the fact that it like looks like a distressed book when it's not. It's just, I love that little detail. It's beautiful. So that is it. Those are all of the books I got for Christmas. It was a fantastic Christmas, although my family did get sick with the flu. I never did. Thank goodness. So yeah, it was a, it was a quiet Christmas. We also spent all day working on a puzzle that was by far the hardest puzzle I have ever attempted to do. Basically just all Christmas there was someone sitting at the puzzle working on it and we, we got it done. So that's it for this video. Sorry for the bad light and the interruptions, but comment down below let me know what you got for Christmas. And also comment down below and let me know which one is the first one you think you'll get to. I'm kind of thinking the Daddy Longwigs retelling. That's the one that comes to mind first. Either that or the D.E. Stevenson book because that just sounds like it's gonna be so fun to read. I'm, I'm excited for that one. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all again another one soon.